Wild Kitty appeared, and today for you, I am bringing you my Voltron Season 7 trailer analysis video. Yes, it is that time again where I basically watch this trailer like a hundred times and try my best to analysis this for you guys so that we can figure out what the feck's going on with Season 7. But yes, anyways, so I have my trusted laptop with all the bullet points so I hopefully do not get off topic but it's me guys it might happen so in for another long video so obviously grab a drink grab a snack and enjoy okay now before I properly get into analyzing the trailer I will say that some a uh, bit of information came out about how many episodes we're getting and also what we can expect from next season. So basically came out that since there is technically only 26 episodes left, they are basically for season 7 we are getting 13 episodes. We are finally back to 13 episodes. I am really really happy about that. I'm like like yeah, the having so less episodes it's like really guys really so yes, it has been confirmed that we are getting 13 episodes for the season and also it has been confirmed that season 8 will also have 13 episodes and it's also confirmed that season 8 will be the last season of Voltron. Yes, I know, the last season's coming soon, so soon, but it is said that season 8 will basically um, come before this year ends. So basically, Voltron Legendary Defender is ending before the end of this year. I still can't believe it myself, but here we go. What the feck am I going to talk about next on this channel? I hear My Hero Academia is a pretty good show. Maybe I'll get into that. But if there's any other shows you guys want me to cover, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so also, when I was watching the trailer, I did a little, um, I can never pronounce the actual word for this app, it's like Shazam, this is Shazam or something, I Shazam the song that the trailer is playing because I was very curious and basically the song is Far Beyond by Dexter French. So if you were wondering what that song was, there it is, it's on Spotify so if you want to listen to it and cry, there you go. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is basically um, when the trailer opens and it's basically um, Lance says, I can't believe we're finally going home, and then it cuts to Shiro looking really sad, and of course we see this flashback of him looking at this guy, and of course we already now know that the guy that Shiro was looking at is Adam, who is his ex fiance so we know that that will be dealt with this season, and I'm really, really happy that, you know, we're actually getting LGBT representation in this show. A lot of people have been talking about wanting it so badly, and I'm really, really happy to see that there is going to be some LGBT representation in the show. I think this is really, really amazing. I absolutely love this because mainly being LGBT myself, I'm bisexual. I really, really like want it. Like, I really am happy to see this in a kids show because I think this will help a lot of kids who are LGBT. And I can't wait to see how they portray this relationship in this season. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this screenshot in particular, and it's basically Shiro, Keith, Lance, Pidge, and Hunk, and they're all looking at something, and they look upset, they look distraught. We don't know what exactly it is, but I believe what they're looking at is they're back on Earth when where they are in this shot, and I think something has happened to Earth. I don't think it's like bad, bad, where like everyone's dead. I just think that 
Earth is not the same as it was when they last left Earth. And yes, so I do believe that probably the Gaara have already came to Earth previously and the garrison have been fighting them off and just stuff like that and yeah. And yeah, and also we see a bit of further proof that something could have happened down on Earth is that bit where uh, we see a message from Sam Holt and Colleen and basically Sam Holt is talking about like we are asking for help, like we need help, Earth needs help. So it looks like, you know, something has gone down bad on Earth. We don't know what it is yet. I'm gonna gather the Galra have already like made their like plans to go into Earth, but yes. So this will be a definitely an interesting one, definitely if that's the case, but yeah. Also we see that there's this screenshot of Lance protecting somebody from Galra lasers, and basically it's, it's definitely him, because as you can see, we see like the blue Paladin armor. I mean, unless they switched armor to match the lines, but I doubt it, so I do believe that is Lance. And to say that it's definitely maybe someone from the garrison or someone like that, we do see like a garrison truck there as well. So yeah, that is a thing. So yeah, it for me that makes me believe that they'll get to Earth, but things are not how they were when they left. A lot of things have changed. The Gaara have probably already invaded Earth, or maybe like a mini invasion, but the Earth's trying to fight back and just stuff like that. So yeah, that's a thing. I'm worried. I'm very worried. I am worried for everybody. I am worried for people's family members. It is, uh, I'm, like, this season, this season hasn't even begun yet, and I can feel my heart breaking so badly because stuff's gonna go down, definitely, when they finally get to Earth, but yeah. So another thing in the trailer, we notice that they can't seem to form Voltron. It seems like this weird power surge comes, and they just don't have enough power to basically form Voltron, which is like, ooh, that, that, that's not good, that's, that's definitely not good, especially since it looks like the Gaara have new weapons, because Hunk himself there said that I've never seen the Gaara use weapons like this, so from what I believe, I think the Gaara obviously have new weapons, and I think that is because of Hagar, obviously from what she's learned from Orion is that, you know, she's learned to make, like, these really powerful weapons that they can use against Voltron so that, you know, they can get it, and yeah. So, yeah, so, the Galar are definitely coming after Voltron before they can try to get at Earth, but yes, yeah, so, I do believe that's what it is, that Hagar has made new weapons with her new powers. So, yeah. Also, also, cheering up, cheering up, because, yeah, um, freaking Keith can teleport with his wolf. That is amazing. I absolutely love it. It is absolutely, like, again, I want to know the wolf's name. Like, please, can we get the wolf's name? Like, did he name it after his dad? I'm gonna probably guess that is why that, um, Keith called, that Keith called his wolf after his dad, because obviously, uh, Laura Montgomery said herself that the name of the wolf is kind of spoilery, so I'm like, okay, it's most likely going to be probably he named his wolf after his dad. I mean, my inner Clance shipper is basically saying maybe he called it Lancey Lance, but I don't think they'll go that way. Mainly, I think it's going to be the dad's name. I, like, it, it's this percent chance that it's going to be Lancey Lance, but yeah. But a girl can dream. A girl can dream. Okay, so from what I can gather from this trailer, it's going to take Team Voltron a long time to probably get to Earth. It's probably going to be in a few episodes before they actually get to Earth themselves. So I think it's going to be a kind of, you know, road trip kind of thing where they probably go to different planets and stuff like that because we also see clips of, like, them. Because there's that clip of, um, Hunk, like holding onto this vine while everybody else like falls down the other bit of the vine as well so I do think that obviously they're gonna go to different planets because also we see that bit where someone's like oh no one has seen you since your last fight with Lotor and obviously Hunk's like everyone who is helping us thinks we're dead so obviously they probably want to go around being like yo guys we ain't dead we're okay we won the battle Woo! But, um, yeah, so I do believe that's going to be the case. And of course, I think that Galra Empire are probably going to catch up to them first before they get to Earth. And I think that's obviously when 
like Voltron cannot form at all, like they've lost power, the Gullah have new weapons, so I think there's also going to be, because there's that bit also where um, like everybody's out of their lions, and I don't know why they're out of their lions, that's what I would like to know, why they're in the space pit and they're out of their lions, like why is that a thing, unless they're trying to like fix some things on the lions, but who knows. But yeah, so we see all that. So yeah, this season to me is going to be stressful as feck. Like, I thought season 6, like, broke me. Season 7 is going to destroy me. And I don't think I'm alone on this one. So yeah, this is, uh, honestly, I do not, I cannot believe that this is happening. Like, well, honestly, it's like, so many feels right now that I don't know exactly how to emote and oh my god it is just I honestly cannot wait for season 7 like August 10 could come any sooner but at the same time I'm like I'm not ready I am so not ready for this so yeah it's going to be a very interesting season to say the least there are so many things you know that we've seen in the trailer and just obviously things that have come out of the interviews at San Diego Comic Con and just all of that like oh my god I cannot believe it myself but yeah so so yes that was my analysis for the season 7 trailer I hope you really enjoyed this video and yeah tell me in the comments is there anything that I missed that you know you're excited about season 7 that you noticed in the trailer or anything that I might have missed for like interviews at San Diego that obviously source it before you say anything but yeah it is uh, I am looking so forward to the season and also I'm not ready at the same time do you guys you know feel the same you're excited but you're like I'm hardly covered from season 6 how's this gonna work but yeah I'm yeah because I'm hardly covered from season 6 I don't know if I'm ready for season 7, but you know what, I'll take it, I'm glad that we're getting it, obviously, in a few weeks time, so yeah. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe for more fandom content that you can shake a stick at, and see ya!